my name's Claire, and today we're going to do some dancing based on the idea of painting. We're going to use different parts of our body to imagine that we're painting in the air. First thing you need to do is make sure you've got a space, then pick one body part that's going to be your paintbrush first of all. The first thing we're going to do is paint a tree. We're going to do a different painting now. So you're going to choose a different body part and this time we're going to draw a castle. So have you got a space? So with whichever part of the body you've chosen to use, let's start off by drawing a doorway to a castle. It might have a drawbridge. Maybe you could add to it the parapets at the top. That's the up-down section. And there have the windows. Usually in a castle, they're long and thin. Does it have a moat around the bottom? Are there any people going into the castle? Now choose a third different body part. Chosen? This time we're going to do a portrait. Could be a self-portrait. It might be one of our family or friend. Or maybe somebody famous. Think about what they look like. Are you ready? Let's draw their hair. Is it straight or curly? Is it long or short? What about the shape of their face? Is it round or narrow? What are their eyes like? Big, wide eyes? Is their mouth smiling or grimacing? Can you see their teeth? What about their nose? Have they got a long or short little nose? You might want to add some clothing too. Maybe a hat, maybe a scarf, or maybe a jumper. This time, we're going to paint something different. I'm going to go for a car, but it's up to you if you'd like to choose something for yourself. But this time, every time I draw a different part, I have to change which body part I use. So with my car, I might decide to do the wheels with the foot, the roof with the finger, the nose with the windscreen. Let's see how that might look. For the next section, you need to find a partner. One of you is about to be the artist, you'll be dancing, and the other one is the teacher. So take a moment to decide who's who. But don't worry, after one minute, we're going to change over roles, so you'll get the chance to do both. If you're the teacher, you've got to decide what it is the artist is going to paint. You're also going to guide them to tell them 
what part of the body they are going to use for each part of their painting. So if you ask them to draw a house, you might say, please would you do the roof with an elbow, or the front door with your knee. Maybe you can use the elbow to show me the windows. Got the idea? If you manage to do that, you want to try something a little bit harder. This time, artist, you're going to decide what it is you're going to draw the picture of and what body parts you're going to use. Teacher, you've got to see if you can work out what is it that they are painting in the air. It's harder, so do your best. If you've done all of that and you still want to try something a little different, have you heard of miniatures? They're very small paintings, so could you try doing this really tiny? Or murals, those are huge from the side of a building, so for those you'd need to make your actions really big. Alternatively, you could try lying on your back and painting as if you're doing a ceiling at the Sistine Chapel in Rome. Or, if you want to try something even harder, think about particular artists and can you do something in their style? Maybe angular cubism of Picasso or the soft flowing shapes of Dali's paintings. Thanks for dancing today. I hope you enjoyed the idea of using paintings as an inspiration for movement 